does it take to go all the way around? One minute. 60, 60 seconds. One of the things I like about using video notes is when students, it's time for them to review for a quiz or a test. Um, some of them don't have the greatest study skills, as we all know, and these videos are available for them so they can go and they can listen to me and watch me do every single type of problem that can potentially be show up on a quiz or a test and learn the concepts over and I don't have to sit there and go over every single concept with all hundred students that I have in my geometry classes. It's as, as they want to go through and I have a lot of students that I watch them all the time before a quiz or a test. I watch the notes so I can remember how to do some of these problems. It's also great for any student who misses a day they can simply get online and watch them. I don't have to reteach every single student that was absent. They can get online and watch them and then they'll come back and then if they have questions then they come and talk to me about which questions, which concepts they still struggle with and then I can help them out individually with that. Uh, I got the whiteboard uh, about six months ago and ever since then when I first got it I didn't have any of the Camtasia or screen casting software on my computer. So originally all I was using my whiteboard for was to just take, uh, make a copy of my classroom notes that I do and change them into, uh, so I do my notes in class and then I would print them off as a PDF file, um, something that's rather easy to do. And then I would post them on my web page at my school website so that if students missed a day, they could get online, they could get the notes that we did in class, but they wouldn't necessarily know step by step how to work through the problems because they would just see what you see on the board. I would try and do things in different colors when we got to them. So like here, the student would be able to see the setup, but they wouldn't be able to actually see what I did step by step. Then I finally got the Camtasia recording system. And ever since then, this whole second semester, I've been using those to create my video notes. And all that is a matter of doing is pulling up on my smart notebook. Here's the notes that we went over yesterday. And then I would have the Camtasia uh, software running in the background. And all I would do is I would hit record and then I would be able to start using my notes. So here's the Camtasia Studio. Once it's loaded, all I have to do is hit the record the screen button. And it shows up as what I'm going to record. And then I just need to open up the notes that I'm going to record. And then from here, it would just be a matter of coming over, hitting the record button, and then working my way through my notes. The other thing that I was going to have a problem with was recording my voice because obviously there's no microphone included with a smart notebook. So, and I didn't want to be stuck in sitting in front of my computer screen doing the notes with the tablet when I have a board that I can use to interact with. So, what I ended up doing is I went and got a wireless headset from Best Buy. I splurged a little bit and bought, they're about $100. It's a Logitech brand. So now all I do is I turn these on, I put the, my headphones on, and I can hear it acknowledge that it's syncing up to my computer. And now my microphone's on, you can see my voice is rather loud. So I can tell that it's running. The last thing I have to do is hit record, and it gives me a countdown to when I'm going to record. All right, so now that I have everything saved onto my computer, now I'm just in Camtasia, and all I'm going to do, the first thing that I always do, because I always have a very loud voice, is I'm going to go to my audio, and you see this green line down here, that's just the overall volume of my voice, and I usually bring it down close to like 60%, somewhere in that range, just because I have a loud voice, and students know that I have a loud voice, so when the students hear it at home, they, it's just really loud coming through the speakers. So then I just hit finish, and then this just overall progress, I just wait for it to load onto YouTube. Once I'm done with that, I give the link on my web page, and students can get to my web page and click on it and get to YouTube, and they can watch the video anytime they want.